Let me now bring on board a very special guest, uh, Vineet Nayar, Executive Vice Chairman of Tech Mindra. Mr. Nayar, always uh, a delight and a pleasure to have you back on ET Now. Thank you for joining us. And uh, Mr. Nayar, these are uh, great times for the IT sector. Uh, U.S. economy is bounced back, Europe is looking good, clients are paying more, margins are looking up, and you are growing. Well, uh, we have the rough patches and we have sometimes good patches, and we try to balance both. How much and more do you think this good yes, patch will continue? I think, uh, look, uh, I think uh, stock exchange overreacts on both sides. Uh, yes, things are looking up. Uh, Indian IT is, has created a niche uh, uh, globally and now it is almost becoming uh, the first preference, cho the first choice for most uh, of the uh, enterprises. Having said that, uh, I, we don't want to underestimate the fact that other IT groups outside India are readjusting to our competition and will become more efficient, more competent, and the competition will continue, which is good for us and is good for the industry. Mr. Nair, hi, good morning, good to have you on the show. Since you did talk about good times and bad times both, you know, what comes to my mind is Infosys and in, you know, Mr. Nair Namurthy held a webcast yesterday where he's talked about, you know, the revenue guidance being lower and as to how challenging the environment is getting a little bit. Uh, would it be safe to assume that perhaps this is just an infi specific problem or would you say that this could trickle down into the entire industry as well? Are you worried at all? Uh, in business, one is always worried because conditions are always dynamic. Uh, uh, yes, it's just because, as I said, there is an overreaction on both sides. Uh, the bus doing business is tough. We need to be efficient. We need to be swift. We need to be cost responsive. We need to be responsive to the changing political conditions and changing political demands internationally. Therefore, I would go along with Mr. Narayan Murthy that it's not an easy run uh, going forward and growth is going to be a challenge in the sense that the anticipation of growth in India is for the IT industry is very high and it has been coming down steadily because the base has expanded hugely. Uh, therefore, I would say, I would go along with Mr. Narayan Murthy in the sense is that things are going to require much greater effort on part of the Indian IT industry going forward. So would they get we challenging? Have, of course, uh, great advantages. Yeah. Go yes, ahead, go please. No, no, what I'm saying is business is always a challenge and one shouldn't uh, simplify the kind of competition which is emerging elsewhere also. So how soon could it get problematic for you? Because Mr. Narayan Murthy has talked about as to how last two years have been bad, uh, you know, in terms of growth. Would you say come next quarter itself, we would see some slower growth coming in for the entire IT industry at large and in particular for you guys as well? Well, I think I don't think we should look at the industry on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. Unfortunately, the market does. Uh, in so far as we are concerned, next quarter is looking fine. Uh, I, I, I'm giving you a more long-term perspective uh, that IT industry will have challenges of two kinds. One is growing competition, growing competition from outside India and from within. Remember, our biggest competitors outside are Infosys, Wipro, and other Indian IT companies. That's one. Two, the technology is changing. And technology is changing, platforms are being created, artificial intelligence is being introduced. The reliance on human beings is going to come down as we move forward. That is as per industry. On the other hand, the enterprise need is going to grow. Where finally it will come, we don't know. But 
The fact is that when we are looking at the IT industry, uh, to view it only in terms of the old parameters may not be correct. What we need to factor in also is the change which is occurring in technology. Whether it's M2M, whether it's big data, whether it is cloud, all these uh, innovations are going to put pressure on the industry globally. So, Mr. Nair, let's talk about, you know, what's the rescue plan then? Goldman Sachs, in its recent report, has said that Tech Mahindra is entering a strategically important year in its journey towards achieving its aspirational target of 5 billion revenues by FY16. How confident do you feel as you enter this strategically important year? Well, look, as we have always said, 5 billion is an aspirational figure. And that would require certain organic growth and certain non-organic growth. Now, if the, these two factors we are successful in it, uh, uh, exploiting, if these two factors come uh, into existence, then possibly it is a possibility. Mm -hmm. but all I can say is we don't attach a certainty to it. It is not... Uh, your conventional forecast, it is aspirational, but we will do everything possible to achieve it or to approximate it. This stage you are tilted more towards it being aspirational or achievable? At, at this point of time, I would say it's aspirational. Hmm. Now, it is aspirational till it is achieved. The <laughs> NASCOM guidance is out in the open. Would you say the NASCOM guidance from your perspective is very conservative because in the last three years you have managed to meet the NASCOM guidance by quite a number? Well, uh, I would say is that for us NASCOM is a base and if we can do something more on it, I personally would be delighted. Something more on that? I'm sure you're trying to strive that but would you achieve that is what I want to know. Uh, yes, I think uh, the NASCOM guidance, I presume, will be able to achieve. Hmm. What is the relationship with BT? That's always the curiosity point. The big client, the big client is ramping up, but the big client is not ramping up as one would have liked. No. Uh, in fact, the uh, uh, BT as a big, uh, is one of our bigger clients, though not the biggest now. I, uh, the fact is that BT's expenditure is IT expenditure is coming down. Obviously, it impacts us. But what is heartening is while their overall expense is coming down and our revenues are coming down, our share in their wallet of expenses is growing. In other words, we, we, are, we were important to them earlier. We are now becoming critical to them because we are their largest provider of technology. And that has, we have been able to keep that status for the last for five years, and it continues as such. But then again, uh, uh, other uh, accounts, uh, a, a few uh, other account has already overtaken BT. Uh, Mr. Nayar, every time an IT asset in the market is on the block, somehow Tech Mahindra's name is always associated with that asset. First it was Polaris, now it is financial technologies. Since your name is associated with every acquisition, every asset, it means either you are very desperate to acquire something or markets they love to cook stories. Uh, I think, uh, guy, uh, folks, it, it's uh, the overactive imagination of the media. Uh, really, which is uh, which ascribes everything to us, uh, and I think that answers your question. Okay, I'm just going to take a detour, sir. Uh, please be with us. I need to mark Sun Pharma because there is bad news for Sun Pharma, and Sun Pharma is one company which so far has been immune to all kind of US FDA regulatory problems. So this is quality which is now coming under pressure because Sun Pharma has got an import alert for one of the important units where US FDA has issued an import alert for all their plants. We'll try and figure out the importance of this unit and what is the percentage revenue which is coming for Sun Pharma from this news. But Prima Facie, the market reaction is the market reaction is down. So this morning, it's not turning out to be a great news for real quality blue chip stocks. Infosys down after that mini profit board warning and uh, the impossible has happened, which is Sun Pharma has also got a US FDA or US FDA. Import a lot. Uh, 
Mr. Nayar, the other talking point is rupee. It went from 55 to 68, from 68 to 61. Uh, how are you planning to map the rupee volatility? Because this is something which will impact your margins, your billing rates, and your profitability. Well, uh, obviously we do a certain amount of hedging, uh, which we will continue to do. But, but hedging really does not change the fundamentals uh, uh, in many fashion. Uh, it only flattens out the risk, uh, uh, the risk curve. Uh, so we have to, I mean, uh, we'll have to live with the rupee as it moves. And uh, let's see how it works out for us. Uh, if our long-term prognosis is that rupee will weaken until unless the fundamentals of the economy change, and let us see, we all pray that the fundamentals of the economy improve, even though it may have somewhat of an adverse effect on the IT industry.